and the world peace, right? So that means uh, we have to find what is the connection uh, between the world peace and the Kalachara Tantra. Different uh, ideas are all peace. But uh, we have to analyze is there is a real substance. In general, we can say, oh, if you practice loving, kindness, compassion, your individual level, and then you're, you're continue contributing um, the world peace. It is true. But this is uh, a little bit too general, you know, because it's kind of like too simple. So becomes too simple, people don't think seriously, and uh, also very forgot very quickly. As far as I see, the Kala Chakra Tantra is the uncomparable for the world peace. So, we can analyze that. When we say world peace, what do you mean exactly, you know? What kind of uh, level of the peace? That's also we have to think carefully. So let's think about uh, with your neighbor or the countries, each other. Uh, their, their relationship. Not you, you share nothing, you, you Perhaps you not get along at all if you share, uh, but you share nothing and you not not cross your fences. You know, and countries doing the same thing. They don't get along anything. They don't like each other, um, but they don't do war each other. 
they just not cross fence each other. That is one. Not obvious level had the violence, right? That kind of peace is uh, achievable without Kalachara Tantra. You know? And then maybe second level of the peace, you, you not just cross fences, but also you treat, in, uh, treat each other and in the world, you say, oh, we like each other. And similarly, we are neighbors, individuals, or let's say customers, <laughs> you know, like your business uh, partner, business uh, trade. You don't care each other really, but you to be nice to each other because you want treat with, you know. That's a little bit above level <laughs> of the peace. Because you de definitely not fight, you not even verbally fight each other. And also you say nice words to each other. That kind of peace also, I think, is achievable without Kalachara Tantra. So, any a little bit above our level um, world peace, which means you never bully each other, never, even soft way, and you help a little bit, not only showing off, you know, showing off help which we already we have. Yeah, between countries, between neighbors, between communities, bet between individuals. But something you do more than that, a little bit care, really care about. That also may be possible we achieve that kind of peace without Kalachara Tantra. Possible. But that level of peace, definitely we have to train our mind. We, have, we need some education, inner training education, you know. But probably we cannot go further than that, the world peace, without Kalachara Tantra. But if you really want to achieve with individual level, community level, a global level, real world peace means what? That means there is no hostility each other individual level, community level, different races level, different nationality, and different country. There is no hostility. There is genuine caring. Something from in the heart. Not a few people, but this is across the whole world, have this uh, understanding, you know. And believing this is the only way true peace and harmony. There is no other option, there is no other cause and condition. To understand this, I think you really need Kalachara Tantra. 
without Kalachakratantra, almost impossible to achieve that. So now we have to think of the reasons why. You may think, oh, Christianity appreciates love and compassion, uh, Judaism, that, do that. And the other highest yoga tantras, all of them value the love, compassion, kindness. So why have to be Kalachara Tantra? Maybe think of that. Yes, I agree. Nobody believes, unknown believes, anybody really argue. Oh, compassion is no good, love is no good, and kindness is no good. I don't think any argue that, anybody. Even if somebody does, it's not a win. No win, that wins. However, so Kalachakra is, Kalachakra Tantra is the really, the real P, the cause and condition, perfect cause and condition of the real, true, peace and harmony for the world. Why? First, when we have to understand this, Galachara Tantra means what? Is it this deity? No. Galachara Tantra is a system, you know, a spiritual system or you can say educational system. perfect uh, inner training education system. So this system is compare other other systems, then is Galachakra is very special. Especially the world peace. Why? Because the true causes and condition of peace and harmony is you have to understand the nature, you know, the ultimate nature of all phenomena. Firstly, all other systems is not, not explaining that. Yes, they explain it. But Kalachakra way of explaining is, is more, how do you say, clear and, uh, how do you say, it's beautifully, uh, uh, you know, um, explained. For example, just the name of the Kala uh, Chakra. Well of time. All explain the whole universe. All other tantras explain something nice. But and the Kala Chakra say well of time is something very special. You know, two worlds can fully describe the whole relative universe and uh, the enlightened universe explained together. When we say will is uh, something is uh, no beginning, no end. That means everything is a circle. The whole universe is a circle. Nothing's vanish. 
or finish or disappear. One obvious level something disappear is when to a subtle level. The fire, okay, obvious level vanish doesn't mean not there. Water, same thing. You boil the water, looks to disappear. But it's not disappear. I went to another dimension. Gas level. And the gas go somewhere you don't detect in five senses. But still there. So everything in this way means not physical well like this and oh there's no beginning, no end, oh everything's well. That's the only example. But everything born and process, process so-called dead, but it's, it's not dead. It is real. You know, we have this idea, oh, dead, died, means it's finished. It's not finished, it is, uh, you know, like, uh, turn in another dimension. So this is, I'm not talking about humans, I'm not talking about animals, I'm talking about everything. Everything in this universe is doing this. So you all have scientific knowledge. You are born a scientific age. You know science automatically. I mean automatically, you know, you just, even you think I'm not a scientist, but you are a scientist, basically. <laughs> then spiritual, I mean. <laughs> so, so we are, that, not me, but uh, all of you, more scientists than anything else. So you can think scientifically, is that true? A scientific level is true. A logical level is true. A feeling level also true. So everything, Kalashakra explained it this way. So when you realize, you know, explains everything is a circle, everything is a, which means, you know, Everything is uh, connected some ways. That's called. That's why they call. Uh, well means well means all the part of well uh, connect each other. If the rope say oh rope this is beginning and this end we say, but it's not well uh, not like rope is well. So this is something is a special way to explain. Not only that, but when we talking about Kalachakra Mandala behind me, if you learn the details, what saying is, oh, the external universe, all the stars and planets, everything is, we have the representation in our body and mind, everything there. And this connected another dimension level called enlightened, universe. So this representation is draw this. But this, if you have to know, learn uh, knowledge of this, long time, we have to study and familiarization and remember memories. But we thought you understand all the details and memory, memorize them. But this idea, if you understand, that's most important. So that means the this obvious level of universe and then more subtle level of universe and more subtle level of universe, even more, all of them is connected. So we have have you know rocks and everything a very solid level, like water before I say ice. 
more solid than water and then water and then water and gas gas level and and then more subtle subatomic level all of them are different dimension different appearance but all connected to each other right so galajra explaining that to understand in this so in that way the whole universe we are a uh, same and we are connected we are interconnected we are mother a child we are the you know we we need how to say this whole universe need more healthy and we would like to be healthy so one of body part is not unhealthy effect your the whole body or the nature if we have big destructions the part the other part is unhealthy so remember how many times we did a war in the past and the three years of the history and how much damage uh, is still have everybody in the mind so like that so why we did this because we didn't understood what is kala chakra <laughs> so how we are connected to everything we didn't understood that's why so when if you understand this with understanding this it's much easier to be to be you know love and to have a compassion you know like so easier with without understanding this is like a, is or oh, to be compassion to be uh, have to be love loving and kind kind is okay hard work is something hard work you have to do even if you don't want to do <laughs> <laughs> but if you understand this nature and the reasons and then it's more natural and flow so that's the reason kalachakra tantra is a real causes of the world peace but not only the reason and uh, then if we look at the history how kalachakra many uh, kalachakra tantra manifest to the world from the buddha buddha himself turns like like union form not i'm a monk or separated from the world i renounce the world is not that way buddha yes buddha shakyamuni as indian prince he shows us one not possess possessive too much to the world this is the causes of suffering you going to die anyway so and the time of death you don't know never you know is tomorrow first or the time of death in that way he sees all all the worldly how to say concerns and the worldly values is not valuable anymore for him so that he shown that level yes he reject everything he sacrifice or royal family family a wife children everything palace everything go away but that's one level of showing one way one way the other way most deeper level showing on kalachakra oh i'm always union not you know the male and female in it always need union this union is incredible power 
He showed that. Not, that's why he, he didn't teach Kala Chakra in the monk form. He teach this form. So even he teach these four faces, teach four class of Tantra, same time. But he taught Kala Chakra is the primary most important from the primary face. But he didn't taught a normal human beings because not ready, not ready. Even he showed a sacrifice, uh, you know, the uh, palace, everything, a royal strat, everything. Still people say, some people say, oh, Buddha, he's afraid to be future king. He ran away because he's scared, cowed. So, but majority un is admired. Oh, incredible. Many people can't do things he can do. Wow. But like this, Tantrayana, not ready yet. So that's why he choose teach Shambhala. Shambhala realm means another dimension of realm is something more subtle, more refined. So things can handle better than us. That's why taught to Shambhala. And even Shambhala took about a thousand years to establish Kalachara Tantra system there. So of course, when they establish this system, definitely better than we, we, we establish here. So that's why the whole nation become one family. Whole nation, you know how big is? 960 million cities. Our this whole small world, how many cities? Well, a few thousand, the maximum, right? So that kind of, how many, you know, how many we have a state of fighting and a religion here? And Shambhala, no more like this. Everybody understood we all have Buddha nature. Oh, we all absolutely connected and embraced this subtle level. They realized that. So that's why I'm saying Kala Chakra only have that history, contact. Any other tantra, any other system, we don't have that contact, contact history. history, historical contact. We don't have that. Only Kala Chakra. So Kala Chakra, tantra manifested to Shambhala and made Shambhala perfect peace and harmony. So that's why, if we have this knowledge, if we understand this, how not become more powerful than any other way of you practicing, you know, understand the loving, compassion, union, the unity, the interconnectedness, how can you don't understand this? You know, definitely is different. Not only that, and uh, Kalachara Tantra, not just historically prove the perfect peace and harmony manifested, but also predict it in our future. Okay? I, I want to say again, it predicted for our future. So do we have any other, other systems that have that predicted our future? Not in Buddhism. Maybe some, some others have some kind of satori, but definitely not clear and systematic and historical contact 
as clear like Galatia Tantra no. So that's why it is in many ways uh, Galatia Tantra is the unique spiritual system for this world. What does it mean that? That means you don't have to be Buddhist. You don't have, you can be any anybody to enter in Kalachakra Tantra. As the same as Shambhala, everybody enter in Kalachakra. Initiation. So that's why. And then they progress and realize we all same. Same family. Same family means, I'm not talking about, you know, like, uh, we are all same family, we are, we are blood connect. I'm not talking about that. The ultimate race, <laughs> the absolute race, we all same. And Shambhala says is Vajra race, which means indestructible. Uh, the rest we are all same. So this this is the Galachara Tantra pointed out, and the Shambhala already manifest and already predicted for us. That means the Shambhala's mission is to liberate our world and to transform a golden age. So what we have to do, we just have to have knowledge of Galachara, Tantra, and we connect with, connect means you connect with knowledge, connect with, you know, initiation, connect with practice. That's it. Regardless your capacity, regardless of your capacity, your intelligent level. As long as you connect it, that means you are the category person to contribute the world peace. And we are together achieve the true peace and harmony for this world. Knowing as mentality and then the our world changes you know the environment changes no more natural disasters the crops grow naturally everything rejuvenated why because this world is only karmic version of ours. So we, we change it in karmic level. Of course, the environment and everything, the world, the, the, the change. The weather, everything changes. Because we, everything interconnected. So we think we are the the most intelligent species, humans. So if we really are intelligent, we are the leading to, you know, tra transform the golden age. Through the Kala Chakra Tantra. That means, it's not saying any other religion, any other Buddhist uh, tradition, any other non-Buddhist tradition, any other new age spirituality anything not contribute world peace i'm not saying that it it of course you contribute to uh, world peace as long as you practicing you know this understanding this interconnectedness this you know uh, this loving nature but Kala Chakra, if you are connected with the Kala Chakra Tantra, then there is more power, more possibility, more faster. That's what I'm saying.
So that's what I'm saying. Why? Because is this connection, historical connection, and this Shambhala mission connection, and the system how desired to make more clear understanding. So that's what I'm saying. So now, so what is Kala Chakra Tantra? <laughs> Means the system. System tell you everything clear. Any other systems didn't make clear things very clear. And come to our earth late, late Sutta Tantra. So even logically, you know, like any documents or any, you know, anything in the world, you know, product, even a product or anything latest is the best, <coughs> is meant to be best. And most of time, yes, the best, right? Because you learned all the problems and you updated. So Kala Chakra Tantra is the most updated version of the Tantra. So what I see is Kala Chakra Tantra is the world religion. You can say world religion or you can say go beyond religion. This is for everybody. Yes, it is come from Buddhist culture because that's only we preserved this information. But that doesn't mean you have to be fit in the dark box. You know? So what is the Kala Chakra Tantra? Means this system. So what is external Kala Chakra? The our karmic version outside the whole universe. What is inner Kala Chakra? Structure of every individual's body, mind, emotion, this structure. They each one have a connection. So then what do we have to do? Where do we start from? We have to start from in inner Kala Chakra. So which means uh, we try to solve the problems, all or external source problems, sometimes we do possible protest. We say protest, oh this is not good, and you know we protest and try to solve the problem. I'm not saying this is one way of you solving problem. Of course, this is one way of solving problem. But if you practice inner training yourself and showing good examples, anybody you have the contact. Inspire many other people. That is the much more effective way to transform the world, solve all the problems. Not about, oh, you sad and frustrated about it. But you showing you overcome these frustration and problems. You overcome that and you show other people, oh, how I overcome this. So that means, of course, usually I explain and say this, union of love and compassion. Representing this Kala Chakra union, the masculine is compassion, the feminine part is love. But the problem is usually we don't understand what is love and compassion. We think we understand, but at the same time we don't understand. So that means 
the indication. Oh, I have so much love and like this, but then you, the, your love it turns suffering, and your compassion make also make you suffer. That means we didn't understood properly. That means we didn't understood the. If we didn't understood masculine means, we didn't understand. Uh, we didn't understand the masculine image. We didn't understood compassion. So why? When we say masculine energy is something, have to be stronger. Something is something strong. Have some strength. That is masculine energy. So what does it mean? Courage is nature. So compassion is something. Courage is nature. You not uh, uh, you not afraid anything. You never give. Up. That means you never give up anything. You are always inspired and you are always enthusiastic and determined. Think about it. inspiration, determination, enthusiastic together is masculine energy. This is this Kala Chakra, male version represented. And then love means open. You open the heart. And you radiate the kindness and nurturing. Nurturing, you know, like uh, nature. This is the real love, not uh, uh, I want this, I love this, I want this. This is not the... Because we have, we lost basically, we lost the interconnectedness and we lost from the nat true nature, deepest nature, we are on the surface. That's why we have, everybody have some degree of love. Nobody is a zero love nature. But with this love, we mixed with attachment and possessiveness. So we kind of like contaminate. And then we, everybody is weak, easy to give up everything, you know, no much inspiration, always lost what to do. So which means you have no masculine energy, no compassion. So then we, we identify compassion is, oh, somebody is there suffering, I'm very sorry if it's sad, sad. That is compassion, we think. This is better than have no sensitive, yes. <laughs> it's starting point, I call starting point compassion. Yes, you, you have to fear other people's suffering, yes, uh, yes, but it's not about uh, discouraging or feeling sad and making weaken yourself. It's something have to be make, make energy out of you. Something is make energy out of you and become enthusiastic about that means compassion. So these things represented, you know, this uh, male and female version. This represented means they both have the same nature and di different aspects. It's not uh, somebody have oh, so much compassion but no love. And somebody is incredible, loving nature, no compassion. It's not like that, impossible. But uh, you see, there's different uh, image, different the aspect. So that's why we have to understand, you know, like in, in Vajrayana way, especially high Vajrayana way, we have to understand this. Oh, yes, we need male and female energy, we need each other. 
But also we need inside we have to balance very well your inner feminine and uh, masculine you balance well like compassion and love and you not let contaminate and all side relationship also have to be pure and you know like uh, how do you say uh, you not very well anything you know you not well means you you don't understand nature you lost you you disconnecting from the nature you not interconnecting very well you know so that's so that's why is why otherwise why why you know what you may think of why the tantric deities always have to be like a male and female breast and why I have to do like this because there is no other better image you can show image level what else you can can you imagine something else not male and female something else breast together is more powerful or stronger than this if yes we can better than that okay so that's why i show you together usually say oh wisdom and compassion so wisdom is you know wisdom is the, the feminine and the compassion is masculine usually I refer like that what that means before I told you remember you when you break down and then say break down then love and compassion you separate it and then you can identify female and male but and uh, when you together then when you say compassion is means love is in it is together same nature so that identify as masculine and wisdom is uh, identify female why so we have to think of what is wisdom you know like wisdom what is the wisdom wisdom means you understand the nature you know you understand the nature when we say you understand the reality also you have to think of many layers of reality so how much degree of wisdom means how much layers of wisdom you can have So you know before I said our love and compassion on contaminated possessiveness and attachment and weakness why means is lack of wisdom So when you have more wisdom then is more strength Let's say a big powerful machine just sit there no power but if you have driver who drive this machine then very powerful so have to think of like that that feminine and masculine together is very powerful but masculine by himself like big machine no driver <laughs> so that's why our love and compassion is sometimes weak means lack of femininity or you can say love love lack of wisdom method and wisdom method and wisdom so that means still wisdom is the same femininity method means the the masculine instead like machine we have to think about 
Oh, I have method. But method, who going to use this method? Wisdom going to use this method. That's why method and wisdom together, good. But if you have Uh, I don't know how to do it, but I don't have the thin, the tool. <laughs> I don't have the tool. <laughs> or just say, okay, some old man uh, cannot move, that kind of person. I know what to do, but I can't do it. <laughs> So they have to be together. <laughs> so anything in this world, we have a discrimination, anything, uh, problems rise from that. All problems rise from discrimination, bias, mind. And religious uh, practices, we say, okay, sectarian view. Because lack of wisdom, you don't understand the nature. Yes, I think the Tibetan texts sometimes say, wisdom consult, wisdom consult. So you can you can understand many levels wisdom concept when you say wisdom also we all understand then is to understand the nature. Like human, okay, the humanity is how come? That. Oh, okay. So that's why we know. Obvious level like family, couple. Other level, the same thing, same role, same thing. And then all the Latin. Truth, wisdom. They call wisdom. Why you call wisdom? All the path you use, all your your uh, your path, you know. Still call wisdom. So that means that ultimate wisdom, ultimate wisdom. Who knowing the truth we call wisdom. And then they ultimately, you don't need know anymore. So the, the itself, ultimate truth itself called wisdom. <laughs> so then compassion, that term we use manifestation. So that means the Buddha, the ultimate truth or ultimate body, we can call you wisdom, and the manifestations you can you can say compassion. Remember on the path, along the path, use the compassion. Remember, because of compassion like tool, 
the wisdom is user you know now you no more use only use for sentient beings not for yourself right you finished you finished your achievement so only for you Hence, you can have a question and I answer maybe that way easier. Anything you confuse or anything you have curiosity, and you can have some questions and I answer. If you have no questions, then I read the Shambhala prayer transmission for you and then we can read together. So, what do these teachings look like as far as practice? Practice? Yeah. How does that? Many books I have. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I don't provide it the path, then I just talk. It's not good enough. So, I provided the path for many years. So in Tibet about 20 years I study and practice retreat everything did and then come to India uh, the incredible Buddha's uh, holy places I how to say stabilized my mm, meditation practice then I come to Australia and learn new language and try to write that on. So it took me from 2003 to, uh, to learn language at the same time and write at the same time until 2000. Seventeen, mostly finished. Uh, no, still, still not finished. Few books. So that means uh, I have all study to understand the knowledge. Uh, direct explanation of the sadhana uh, or broad view uh, to understand. To direct in Kalachara way. So I have these all books. Uh, systematically very clear and what is next? What is next? Like this way, every, everything. Yeah. And also Chloe leader here, some travel groups to help. Yeah. And others also help. Any other question? Yes? Yeah. Um, can you comment on the yin yang symbol from Taoism and how that's similar or different to the male female symbol? Yes, as a, you know, all the different traditions have different uh, names, but a very similar meaning. We need union. Basically, everything is about union. So, obviously, we know, you know, we know that, uh, we know that. Uh, Anything is united, your company, your family, your relative, your country, your community, anything united means that you have a lot of power, you have a lot of ability, but you are disunited, no power. So showing that, you know, so yin and yang means uh, masculine, and you can say masculine and feminine in each. They call it different names, you know. So they show in symbols like this, <laughs> but this this one showing this. <laughs> so which one more powerful? I think this one powerful. <laughs> How impact? You know, you see this yin yang, this symbol. You see this and this. I think 
everybody impact from this. Uh, so, it, yeah, different way of showing, but same meaning. As some experts are more softer, as some experts more, how do you say, more domestic way. Okay. No more question? Okay. Are the colors the elements? Colors? The, 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 the colors of the color chakra, are they the elements? Yes, uh, not, not, yes, yes, not too much, but it is uh, the, the color chakra, the male uh, one is a uh, dark, dark blue. And the feminine our part is the golden um, color. Uh, but the color chakra have all, all these fingers have different colors, and and these all three parts of fingers have different colors. And of course, the one leg and one other leg is a different color. All hands different color. Twenty four. These details, if you want, in my book. <laughs> I mean, you know, these details are important, but not as important as these essence. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I follow Hinduism. So, is this something similar to Shiva and Shakti, or is it like Kala Bhairava? Is it Kala Chakra? Is Kala Bhairava? Is one and the same? Okay, so <laughs> I don't know exactly details. I I try to study all Hinduism, everything, but it's just too many. So I have a book here for Ocean of Diversity. Uh, I summarized the Hindu, so many inside, and then the difference is something a little bit different than Hindu, you have uh, Jainism, right? And all Indian, these ones, and everything in there, the uh, essence, but all the details. I cannot remember everything. But what I say is, what is Buddhist Tantra and Hindu Tantra? The Hindus not emphasize incredible two important things, a little bit lack of. What that is, relative bodhicitta and uh, emptiness. This is lack of, uh, um, um, how do you say, emphasize. So Buddhists go, do this in Incredible emphasize. So maybe some schools, Buddhist some schools, went maybe a little bit too far, emphasize emptiness, so then forgot the Buddha nature. They have the Buddha nature language, but not too much description. <laughs> so, and and Buddhist is a critical way. Buddhist uh, uh, the academic text and um, the Hindu is more friendly. <laughs> so which means Hindus say, oh, Buddha is emanation of our Lord, you know, right? And they not discriminate. But Buddhist academics say, oh, Hindus only can achieve Samsara God realm, not out of Samsara. But uh, that judgment is the real on reality or not. I think Buddhists have to understand complete Hindu. They have to understand complete Hindu and then they can say that. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody study Hindu. 
I studied the most, <laughs> probably, but I, not enough. But what I have noticed, definitely, uh, these two important uh, little bit luck. And, um, yeah. Mm. But, uh, you know, only... did Shiva and everybody. He said all emanation of Buddha. Emanation, all of them emanation. That's I'm very surprised because none of other Buddhists <laughs> say that. Yeah. But uh, of course emanation, you know, it logically makes sense because anybody leads, you know, like a beneficial part, how can not uh, emanation of the enlightenment? Yeah. That's all I can say. <laughs> Okay, did you have a question? Um, it was not directly related to the Kala Chakra, um, so I can... That's okay. I was just curious about why, why did you go through the pains of studying all the traditions in uh, Tibetan Buddhism? Why I have to go? Why, why, did you, why did you take the time and make the effort to study all the traditions? Uh, people stick one monastery, one tradition, and they become their home, you know, and they don't don't bother others, and they develop is uh, all my ones are the best. That kind of developed, you know. So I first I went monastery, uh, but that time is monastery is new, you know, so they don't have full time study, full time practice. Then doing other things, you know, other activities. So I, okay, this few months I have this monastery, uh, let's say Nyangmapa, I went to uh, practice a few months, and they finish, then I go another monastery. Okay, who has studied, or Gelukpa have studied, Gelukpa monastery has go there study. So then I really like it because, you know, like everybody have different views different perspectives and, and judgmentals each other. So that's why I like, <laughs> I like to know the truth. So I, that's why I went everywhere. And I'm not regret that, that's as most I pride about. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because then I, you know, like, a, I become all of them home. You know, because everybody has strength and weakness. But the weakness is not important, you know, we try to, uh, uh, you know, uh, eliminate the weakness, right? You know, and we try to achieve the strength. So there's different strengths that I can learn from each other, you know, so that's why I go. <laughs> so also when I learned the other religions, oh, so much, <laughs> so good, so good, yeah. much better understand the unity, you know, and the interconnectedness, you know. And I mean, you can't say, you know, like, uh, oh, the other is the Chakrasambara, or, you know, the Guru Samaya, or, you know, all the higher teachings, uh, we cannot say they don't understand. Of course they understand, you know, uh, people who practice those, they can reach enlightenment, no problem. But, it's not very clearly articulate, as like Kalachara. So that's why is uh, is kind of like uh, is that's why I'm saying update version. You know, Kalachara as as a system is update version. That's why it's good. 
and the other things how you articulate is uh, is uh, so much uh, you know the the universal here way you know and then you have this historical contact with Shambhala and then we have this uh, you know prophesize so all of them together is and, and very scientific Kalachakra is the most scientific uh, Tantra so even uh, you know many science people they are really interested uh, Kalachakra even say you know like uh, other Buddhism never say things you know like say space space uh, particles or that kind of you know like uh, normally don't say things and then in the science, oh, what is that? Oh, that makes sense, you know. <laughs> so everything like that. So that's why it's scientific. So that's why I say our future uh, religion or whatever we call our philosophy or, uh, you know, this is our path. That's I see. Okay. Could you talk a little bit about the comparison between the Dzogchen path, particularly like Treksho and Togo and Alaska compared to the six yogas? Yeah. So, uh, Dzogchen uh, is very uh, little bit different, you know, like uh, some people think Dzogchen is uh, not Buddhism, and some people think it's Buddhism, uh, some people think it's uh, not Tantra, some people think it's Tantra. I cannot judge that, you know, I don't know, but uh, it is a little bit different. That's obvious. Uh, so, uh, so I think uh, Dzogchen is like uh, our eyes is, is like a poem. You know, when you read the poem, oh, you are inspired. Oh, so beautiful. You know, like that kind of. Uh, you really inspired, you know, like, and, you know, and, but, uh, some people find the substance from the poem, but some people don't find the substance from the poem. So, depend your karmic connection. <laughs> so, Kalachara is not like that. Kalachara is, okay, is uh, if somebody very scholar, you have a lot of things to learn, you know. <laughs> if somebody is not a scholar, then what I teach in today way, you know, normal way, the essence, uh, you still can follow. So, Dzogchen, I don't know, very scholar people, probably they don't like Dzogchen. I don't know. But uh, many people really like, you know. So, yeah, that's all I say.